Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Turtle and the Tiger vlog number 55. Oh, oh what I want to talk today about, it's kind of weird, isn't it? Coronavirus. Yep, coronavirus and how it affects us and our travel plans. Well, happy to say that on February 26, 2020, that's today's date, we haven't had a lot of people in Arizona really affected by it. We're in Phoenix right now, and I've checked the re my recent uh, super duper coronavirus map, and as it turns out, we have we had one infected in Arizona, and that same person went to to a recovery here. So that's that's kind of cool beans. Uh, and as of today, there hasn't been another another affected person, infected person, uh, report in the states. Not doesn't mean that they're not out there, as we all know, but. Uh, as far as anything documented, there, we're, we're pretty clean here in Arizona. All right, so we're in this house sitting in Phoenix for two weeks. As if you've seen some of our previous videos, uh, we were already at the same house for four weeks. Then we took two weeks off and went down to Oregon Pipe and then over to Tucson. Now we're back in Phoenix and we're halfway through the sec two week stint here. But we're making plans, you know, it's winter time. We're kind of hanging out in Arizona where it's warm. We kind of do house sits in the winter time just to, you know, it gives us a base camp to work out of and keeps the cost of lodging down. So we're not paying for campsites, et cetera. So one of the things that popped up the other day was a house sit in Flagstaff, which is kind of cool because Flagstaff looks so much different, you know, than Phoenix. Elevation's higher, it's got more trees, it's different. It's a nice place. So now we would have been going to Phoenix, Tucson, and now Flagstaff. So it's kind of cool get to see the state. Um, so we applied for the house sit. It's a two and a half weeker, and I believe it's in like March into April. And uh, it works out great because after that particular house sit, we would take, have three days to get up and see uh, the Grand Canyon. It's not too far away. All right, so what's that got to do with the coronavirus? Well, as it turns out, so when you apply for these house sits, right, these people go on there and they're like, oh, here's the house, here's the picture, here's all our animals, here's what we want you to do, and here's what the house description looks like, and et cetera, et cetera, give you some pictures. But one thing they don't tell you is where they're going or what they're doing and why they need a house sitter. So what do you do? You apply for the house sit, looks good, house looks good, you know, it's right up your alley, all things seem to be clicking good. Then they they start doing their interviews so yeah we're gonna we we go through our interview and at the end of the interview she says yeah because we're gonna go to japan for two and a half weeks yeah because we're gonna go to japan for two and a half weeks yeah because we're gonna go to japan for two and a half weeks oh you are right <clears throat> And their plan is, this is like, this is four weeks down the road. Now, I'm going to win set to you as of today, February 26, exactly what the numbers are for Japan. Now, knowing that this house sits going to start in, let's see, what did I say? March, I think it's March 20th, 21st, 23rd, something like that. We have four weeks. Now, we all know how this sort of exponentially increases when it when we're talking about uh and rate of infection and rate of uh transmission whatever you want to call it so what do we do i mean we've accepted this house sit now these people we know are, are pl planning to go to japan it's two people that are younger than me i never used to be able to say that but you know i gotta say it all the time these two people are like in their what, 20s 30s 30 years old so we haven't talked about it we haven't discussed with them so we came up with a plan which is we're still going to apply for house sits in that time frame just like this house that doesn't even exist and then you sort of kind of you know place your bets on black and red and in the event the first one falls out maybe we have a second one but there are only usually about 10 house sits in arizona at any one time so the odds of actually getting a house sit for that time frame if that one falls out is is pretty low i don't i don't know there might be there might be a holiday that falls on those dates i don't i don't know for sure i'll check 
but as it stands now in Arizona, we okay. So the house set aside. So that's how this all came about. It came about with us looking at wow, the word Japan just popped, and I go on YouTube quite a bit to check my analytics and stuff like that. But I also check the news, and it's a good place to go and get quick videos on from news organizations about the coronavirus. And one of the things is I ran across this doctor who works, I'm not quite sure where he works, a hospital somewhere, and he's he's sort of in epidemiology maybe, so could have got that wrong, but at any rate, he does a video almost every night, a quick one on uh, the whole the whole World Health Organization and their summary versus and, and gives an opinion about that and a map showing the coverage, etc. So I'm going to put the kind of a, a map. It's a snapshot of today. Day, February 26th. So it'll be interesting for people to go back and, and now when I put the link of that map down in the description you can click on it and compare the two and see what the difference is between today and how whenever you look at it and I would suggest you keep that link because it's a pretty good link to the map. Uh, a couple of things the the virus name everybody calls it coronavirus which it is but I, I, I'm guessing that's sort of like well, what kind of car you got? Chevrolet. So, you, okay, so it's not a cobalt, it's not a volt, no. The actual name of the virus is SARS-CoV-2, and the disease it causes is COVID-19. So, uh, that's just something interesting. One of the other things is we've noticed in Arizona, though very few people are wearing the paper masks, you do walk into stores though and it's interesting the hand sanitizers got some gaps okay so if you had like you had like eight different hand sanitizers you know like pink blue orange or whatever from different companies it's like almost 50 percent of all of those selections are gone so you know you'll have a bottle and then a gap a gap a bottle bottle gap bottle gap that kind of thing whereas right above it you know the hand soap from the same people they're all there so one of the things I saw on the CDC website is that make sure your hand sanitizer has at least a 65 to 90 percent alcohol content. That's number one. Wash your hands for more than 20 seconds in a whack, which I always thought the whole washing your hands thing had to go as long as the song Happy Birthday. <laughs> so my Aunt Paul had always used to say, if you're going to wash your hands, you're going to get all the germs and cheese to work at the doctor's office. Wash your hands. Uh, sing happy birthday to yourself by the time you're done you know if you're really scrubbing use a lot of hot water and blah 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 then you're probably good to go of course maybe the the whole 20 second thing is with an antibacterial so who knows i don't know uh paper masks don't work that great uh, you also get transmission from your eyes you know the biggest thing is the mouth through the face deal so don't be touching stuff uh, I'm going to start wearing probably gloves more often, but I don't know, you know, you take off your gloves, can you transfer from your gloves to your hands, so what are you going to do there? So for us, it's kind of, it's, it's a little bit interesting in how we're going to go about this ourselves, because we're always, always, um, you know, worried about getting sick. I've already been sick twice in the last two, two, about last two and a half years. Now it's been 30 some odd months. So the two times I've been sick one once was the very first three months that we left home and the second time was about a year later in Breckridge Ridge Colorado and each time I was sick for about 10 days I still don't know what it was but it was I think it was uh, basically a, a upper respiratory infection kind of deal dry cough that kind of thing which is sort of symptomatic or the symptoms of, of this thing going on too so now you get you're thinking about it all, all totally different um, I'm 60 years and over, so I don't, you know, what does that mean for me? I think my immune system is pretty decent. I eat a lot of fruit, fruit salad, a lot of cheeseburgers. That helps your immune system. Uh, 
But, you know, so what happens when we get sick? Well, it's not like you have we have our house anymore where you can go up there in that bedroom and you can just be up there, I'll bring you soup and there's your bathroom and take a shower if you want to. Oh, we're, we're in the rig. The only time we're in a house now is when we're in a house set. So what do we do? First of all, <clears throat> chances are really pretty good uh, that we're breathing the same air in there. And so the chances of uh, both of us having it almost like right on top of each other is pretty good. So if we're both sick, who's going to drive the rig? You know, who's, you know, you got to run to the bathroom because you have diarrhea where, you, you know, yeah, there's a bathroom in there. It's a compost toilet though. So not to get into the whole poopy mess thing, but you know, there's something to think about. So uh, anyway, so we I figured I'd give you this, all of this information and let you know how it affects us and sort of what our plan is right now. Our plan is to keep going down Oregon pipe after this house, because we're gonna do a repeat visit down there. And then we're gonna stay there a week and then we're gonna work our way up to Flagstaff from there, probably up uh, through around the east side of Phoenix and see some national forests up there and maybe into Tonto, et cetera. So we'll see what happens. So. Anyway, thanks for watching, and there's your update. And before you go, if you could just subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And if you do subscribe or you're already subscribed, don't forget to hit the notification bell down there so that you get an update of the next video as it gets posted, because we will be keeping you updated. And please, please, please share this video. If I put it on social media, just hit your share button and then just say, hey, look at this guy's video. Uh, and I appreciate your support and we'll talk to you real soon.